I declare the congregation open. Please be seated. On behalf of all my colleagues, it is a pleasure to welcome you to the wonderful setting of the Bridgewater Hall. We are assembled to celebrate the achievements of our students as they graduate from Manchester Metropolitan University. I call upon the Pro Vice Chancellor of the Faculty of Arts and Humanities to give their address. Deputy Lieutenant, Pro Vice Chancellor, members of the university, graduates and guests. Welcome to today's ceremony for the class of 2019 in the departments of Art and Design in the Faculty of Arts and Humanities. This faculty is a unique space where award-winning writers, designers and artists work alongside actors, architects and researchers. Our global credentials are impressive. We are ninth in the world for architecture, seventh in the country for art and design, and areas of our research and creative practice in art, design and English are world leading. The disciplines in this faculty are all about creativity, innovation and understanding people. People as individuals and as members of society. People from different cultures and communities. People and the creative expression of original concepts in a variety of forms. As students of this faculty, you are part of a community of independent thinkers, challenging the norm, constructively critical, unafraid of risk. I hope you will take with you that capacity for originality, creativity and risk-taking that you have nurtured throughout your time with us. As the artist Henri Matisse once said, creativity takes courage. Long may you retain that courage to be creative, to think differently. The world needs people like you, leaders, innovators, creators. We are extremely proud of your achievements. This year, we have seen fashion student Talula Alberts exhibiting her collection at China Fashion Week as part of the Hempel contest. Art history and curating student Fiona Rose Stevens was awarded a Venice Art Biennale Research Fellowship, which is very difficult to achieve. And Textiles in Practice students, Charlotte Howson and Nicola Dean, were prize winners at the Bradford Textile Society competition. This year, our graduate show was among the best ever, with one exhibit going viral on Instagram. The work of many of our students and alumni connects with local communities. For example, MA illustration student Beverly Irvin and MA graphic design and art direction student Sylvia Aranz have been working closely with the charity Mustard Tree to deliver creative workshops to individuals faced with homelessness. Fine art and art history graduate Matilda Glenn created an outdoor installation at the Whitworth, which was informed by her volunteer work with refugees in Calais and Paris. Beyond graduation, our students continue to make an impact internationally, with fashion graduate Rebecca Carrington winning the International Emerging Designers Award at New Zealand's Fashion Week and three-dimensional design graduates Jade Ford and Joseph Hillary being selected for the New Glass Now exhibition at the Corning Museum of Glass in New York. The exhibition will feature 100 artworks 
exemplifying the innovation and experimentation of artists working with the materials of today. Graduands, this is the backdrop of success and creativity within which we celebrate your hard work and achievement today. We are delighted to have been part of the journey which has brought you to this point of transition and we will continue to provide advice and support to you as graduates of this faculty. Today is your day. We celebrate your achievements and wish you every success in the future. Congratulations and well done. It now gives me very great pleasure indeed to call upon Joe McCullough, Head of the Department of Design, to present our students. Pro Vice-Chancellor, I present students who have gained awards within the Faculty of Arts and Humanities. By, my, by virtue of my authority as Pro Vice-Chancellor, I admit those students listed in the programme to the degrees for which they are to be presented. Bachelor of Arts in Art History, Kirsty Fiona Appleton. Nicole Coyle. Theodore Krasimarov Popov. Jordan Wally. Bachelor of Arts in Art History and Curating. Elite Alice Fife. <laughs> Laura Kubiliana. <laughs> Chai Wei Lee. <laughs> Fiona Rose Stevens. Bachelor of Arts in Fine Art, Isabel Bradburn. <laughs> Eleanor Daisy Brennan. <laughs> James Bruff. <laughs> Eden Calgi. Emily Carrington. <laughs> Rosanna Dakin. <laughs> Bethan Dalton. <laughs> Bryony Jean Dawson. Awarded the Leonard James Little Fine Art Prize, Candice Devar Deva Denavi. <laughs> Lucy May Dunn. Montana Phoebe Durant. Imogen Sarah Etridge. <laughs> Chantelle Fagan Clark. <laughs> Amy Louise Frost. <laughs> Melissa Francesca Galli.
Molly Lucy Piper Greaves. Jason Gillen. Hayley Patrice Harmon. Alana Humphreys. Corin Mary Claire Hutton. Madeleine Ismael. Alice Constance Verity Jervis Prax. Edward Gwyn Jones. Rosie Megan Jones Burslam. Jennifer Poppy Wan May Lever. Siasha Lewis. Yingxin Liai Liang. Karis Ellery Lloyd. Shelby Louise Lloyd. Joseph Main. Alicia Milner. Jay Mulholland. Jay Otterwell. Sophie Owens. Natisha Panasar. Kate Boswell Parker. Maisie Alice Pritchard. Vincent Python. Spencer Rowe Ely. Georgia Rogerson. Sarah Rowlands. Erin Sands Taylor. Neve Sarson. Alfie Sellers. Serafima Shaw. Katie Shevlin. Maxine Ann Stendhal. Daniela Tadeshi Adkins. Hattie Francis Thomas. Olivia Ruth Warby. Courtney Elizabeth Watson. Hattie Francis Thomas. Oh. Sorry, apologies. Courtney Elizabeth Watson. Oh. Eleanor Wedge. <laughs> oh. 
Rosie Wells. Georgia Jade Westhead. Elizabeth Williams. Andrew Willoughby. Hannah Rose Wilson. Lauren Wilson. Samantha Wood. Henry Thomas. Bachelor of Arts in Fine Art and Art History, Lara Balsashak. <laughs> Florence Hope Barraclough. <laughs> Hannah Mary Carroll. <laughs> Isabel Carson. Samantha Furmin. <laughs> Ashley Kent. <laughs> Sophie Kent. <laughs> Lucia Lucinda Lucy, Lucinda Cecile Legal. <laughs> Jennifer McNichol. Radhika Parekh. Matilda Pagram Haram. Victoria Ellen Paddington. Faye Charlotte Richardson Hignett. Jasmine Charlotte Sykes. Charlotte Tasker. Beth Louise Thrasher Jackson. <clears throat> Bachelor of Arts in Interactive Arts, Roma Lucia Allenby. Holly Basley. Emma Louise Betts. Kevin Boardman. Phoebe J. Bruce. Aoife Jane Connolly Curley. Amelia Grace Deering. Tamara Zipporah Del Monte. Jordana J. Duba. <laughs> Ibogen Millie Saskia Ellaby Sansom. <laughs> Roslyn Ewan. <laughs> Georgina Fox. Olivia Graham.
Francesca Jagielski. Ruby Gabrielle Kerr. Kalina Ismina Kubiniok. <laughs> Alex Ford. Lord. Sarah Anis Macias. Sam Daniel O'Leary. Erin Louise Parkinson. Amber Queeley. Liam Senior Watson. Amy Walpole. Sophie Elizabeth Wardle. Georgia Worrell. Master of Arts in Design, Nazrawat Marutiab. Master of Arts in Design, Fashion Art Direction, Tiffany Grouse. Francis Roddick. Andrea Venerio Carrasco. Master of Arts in Design, Graphic Design and Art Direction, Ting Hai Suan Chan. Reese Jones. Yori Kato. Michael Orr. <laughs> Master of Arts in Design Illustration, Maria Bartelm Glick. <laughs> Ian William Morris. <laughs> Georgina Riley. Master of Arts in Design, Interior Design, Asil Nazir Seed Baiseso. <laughs> Master of Arts in Design, Textile Practice, Sarah Joy Ford. Jacqueline Hewitt. Maria Voss. <laughs> Master of Arts in Embroidery, Louisa Hammond. <laughs> Kelly Quinzel. <laughs> Sophie Walker. Master of Arts in Fashion, Jane Wales. <laughs> Master of Fine Art in Graphic Design and Art Direction, Lydia Tropiuk. <laughs> Master of Arts in Graphic Design and Art Direction, Damien Anderson Garrity. Jennifer Claire Smith. <laughs> Ma
Master of Fine Art in Illustration, Francisco Alante Champak Pauka. Anthony Pickering. Master of Arts Illustration, Beverly Ann Irving. Master of Arts in Textile Practice, Scott Hornby. Michelle Pouncey Orr. Gareth David Watkin. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in Fashion, Tallulah Alberts. <laughs> Awarded the Alumni Prize of Fashion, Kasna Asker. <laughs> Kate Askham. Claudia Ate Bampo. Leo John Kapayan Callaghan. Chun Yin Chan. Jennifer Louise Copeland. Amelia Crump. <laughs> Patience Degbarto. <laughs> Hoan Bao Ando. <laughs> Eva Catherine Harding. Iona Hayward. <laughs> Jimmy Marable Howe. <laughs> Laura Amy Hughes. <laughs> Sung Han Kim. <laughs> Emma Kunz. James Lansley. <laughs> Bethan May Longbottom. <laughs> Daisy Marie McConnell. <laughs> Minnie Mara. Lauren Jessica Mee. <laughs> Awarded the Alumni Prize for Fashion, Amy Morgan. <laughs> Olaf Milola Olukoya. <laughs> Sarah Robinson. Chon Nang Sein Chan. <laughs> James Kieran Siddons. <laughs> Shannon Hunter Stapley. <laughs> Jessica Stevenson. Natalia Francesca Tavini. <laughs> Emma Townsend. <laughs> Chia Xing. The first one to the next department is here. Okay. Bachelor of Arts in Fashion Art Direction, Carla Batley.
Lauren Black. Awarded the Fashion Photography Prize, Sara Carpentieri. Callum Coulton. Shiwan Gwyn. Sophie Hobbs. Lydia Emily Jones. Evangeline Cleone Bretland McKenna. Matthew Palmer. Oliver Perry. Awarded the Fashion Communication Portfolio Prize, Noah Redmond Bennett. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Rosin. <laughs> Sahara Roberts. <laughs> Awarded the Fashion Styling and Creative Direction Award nominee, Sersha Sadigian Naini. <laughs> Maryam Shum. <laughs> India Rain Stevenson. <laughs> Georgia Daisy Sturdy. Awarded the Fashion Publication nominee, Saif Al Fakan Taj. <laughs> Kiriaki Theodoru. Awarded the Fashion Publication nominee, Martha Beacon Rag. And that concludes the first part of the awards for the Faculty of Arts and Humanities. Pro Vice-Chancellor, it gives me very great pleasure indeed to call upon Nigel Collier from Skylab to give an address to our students. Nigel, a Manchester School of Art alumnus, has worked as a film director and director before a successful career in the computer games industry, where he worked for Sony and on computer game franchises such as Olympic Games and Battlestar Galactica. He then became development director at Guerrilla Games in Amsterdam. Today, his digital innovation agency, Skylab, specializes in developing the digital strategies websites and applications that become the digital products and services of the future. It is my pleasure to welcome Nigel Collier to the lectern. Good morning. Pro Vice-Chancellor, members of the university, graduates and guests, I've been invited to talk to you today as an inspirational speaker, quite a label. So I hope I can inspire you. My goal is to help you take away just two important words. But I'll get to that in a minute. A little bit about myself, just so you understand who, who I am. Who is this person who stood in front of you? I trained as a film producer and director. I made corporates, commercials. I spent 10 years in the computer games industry making PlayStation and Xbox games. I was lucky enough to win a BAFTA award by the age of 28. 
At the age of 32, I'd made over £100 million in revenue in computer games that I'd produced and directed. By the way, I'd made all that money for all the people I worked for, because otherwise, if I'd made that, we would all be having this, this conversation on my island in Fiji. <laughs> so I set up Skylab in 2005, a Manchester-based digital innovation agency. So we specialize in strategies, websites, applications, things like that, projects that we've created for the glorious Manchester United uh, and also Manchester City. Uh, we've worked with the BBC, the Home Office, the NHS, Swim England, England Athletics, the Aston Martin, Red Bull Racing, Formula One team, FIFA, the International Olympic Committee, and the most important bit of all of that is that all of that is irrelevant. All of that means absolutely nothing because that's my story and what matters is your story. You have the right not to listen to me. You have the right not to listen to anybody else, but the right and the responsibility to determine your own story and create your own journey. And with that in mind, I've written a poem for you, especially for today, especially for you, in the hope that I can share these two important words and these words, these two words, might inspire you as a small part of your story. So one of the most important moments in my life was when I was studying here. Uh, I'd just left school at 18 after my A-levels and I came to the university to study from 1990 to 91, back in, the, back in the olden days, when it was still Manchester Polytechnic and before it became Manchester Metropolitan University in 1992. I studied a foundation year in art, which was a year-long course between leaving school and starting a university degree. And that course allowed me to experience lots of different disciplines, graphic design, fine art, textiles, fashion, ceramics, film, photography, and more. And while I was busy working away, a lecturer called Tony Eve would walk up to me and say, what if, and then pause, and then walk away. Well, what if, I said in a rather quizzical tone, well, what if what? What do you mean? Do you mean what if I painted this green instead of red? What do you mean? But by that time, he'd walked off. And a few minutes later, he'd walk up to me again and he'd say, what if? Again, what do you mean? What if we inverted water and air so that we breathed water and we swam in air? What do you mean? But he'd gone. It drove me mad, in all honesty. But he kept doing it. And in reality, it was all about inspiring me to think about a world of alternative possibilities and to question everything. It encouraged me, gave me the freedom to think, a desire to invent, the ambition to change the status quo, the drive to make it happen. Tony Eve inspired me by saying those two simple words, what if? And before I read the poem and then finish my speech, I just wanted to say congratulations to everybody. I know you will have worked really hard, so congratulations on your hard work and achievements. And I wanted to wish you good luck for the future. But if you listen carefully to the poem, hopefully you will achieve your dreams and you won't need any luck. And by the way, I hope that by the end of the poem, if this means anything to you, something to you, then I hope there's a, a rousing applause, a huge upswell of togetherness, and a, and a standing ovation because I, so I, I told my six-year-old I'm standing on the Bridgewater Hall talking to a room full of people and this was probably the only chance in my life that it's ever going to happen. So, so we, we have the power to make that happen today. No pressure, it's all on camera. If it doesn't happen, don't worry. I'll, it's not a problem. So the poem is called What If? What if we breathed water and we swam in air? For that idea, what are the weaknesses and strengths? How would I get to work on time without swimming a thousand lengths? What if we lived on Mars and had intravenous chocolate bars and we knew everything at the tap of a finger? What if there were no wars or pain or problems and a free daily KFC chicken zinger? It took me ages to get that bit to rhyme, but I did it in the end. What if my energy was an asset that I could trade for money and stuff? Would I go down to the gym and train hard to get rich or stay in bed and not really care enough? What if I could do anything? Anytime, any place, anywhere. 
I'd build a, a product, a team, a business, a thing, and change the world for the better, so there. What if I could be the best version of me? Make an impact, make a change, do some good. Be the best Nigel that Nigel can be. And just do it, not maybe or could. Life is a temporary loan. It doesn't last that long. And in the end, we all have to give it back. And all of this potential is gone. So if I had my time again, what advice would I give to young me? I'd start by asking this question, then sit back and wait and see. What if, thank you. It now gives me very great pleasure to call upon Joe McCullough from the Department of Design to present our students. Pro Vice Chancellor, I present students who have gained awards within the Faculty of Arts and Humanities in Presence and in Absentia. By virtue of my authority as Pro Vice Chancellor, I admit those students listed in the programme to the degrees for which they are to be presented. Bachelor of Arts in Graphic Design, Samuel Adamson. <clears throat> Laura Jane Atkinson. Lydia Helena Francesca Baker. <laughs> Chloe Berry. <laughs> Finn Black. <laughs> Geordie Bretherton. Charles George Brown. <laughs> Jessica Burrow. <laughs> Janatul Ferdos Chowdhury. <laughs> Jack Alaric Koloff. Brogan Jean Cope. Ellie Daniels. Olivia Dodman. <laughs> Sasha Rose Dudley. Harriet Alice Erdley. Chen Grace Elliott. <laughs> Abigail Razia Evans. <laughs> Liana Evola. <laughs> Matthew Gork Roger. <laughs> Hazel G. Lily Sidoni Gold. Amy Griffin. Kate Hanley. Daniel Hames.
Harriet Rose Hanton. Jed Higgins. Dominique Howard. Anya Larissa Hubbard. Alyssa Lauren Hufana. Sophie Hughes. William John Humpage. Darcy Isabel Lawrence Jameson. Benjamin Luke Jones. Connor Asa Jones. Charlotte Michelle Kay. Alice Erin Kendall. Chanmaya Kin. Dahi Kim. Ella Kincaid. Emily Lucy Kitson. Jody Kraus. Anna Michelle Lear. Layla Leggett. Jamie Lindsay. Bronte Rose Sydney Marks. Douglas Ray Matthews. Casey McCormick. Jessica Grace McAvoy. Connor McGill. Patrick McElroy. Jessica Lucy McLeod. Alice Milner. Georgina Munger. Siobhan Alice Moore. John Moore. Rachel Claire Murphy. Lee Rachel O'Loughlin. Rebecca Claire Ormond. Laura Orton. Haseem Patel. Arnie Pelham. Amy Pelham. <laughs> Nat Hang Pham. Lauren Pilkington. Nina Louise Petraco. Iona Rebecca Purvis.
Marina Ruku Duran. Tom Ryan. Alexander John Sanford. Tamir Sayer. Abigail Scammell. Amelia Florence Shaw. Emma Christina Smith. Elsie Swanick. Leah Tucson. Alex Walton. Molly Rose Webster. Isabel Williams. Joseph John Wyness. Kezia Ewell. Bachelor of Arts in Illustration with Animation, Nadia Victoria Akingbule. Sophie Maybrook. Holly Brown. Philippa Michelle Carrington. Amy Cross. Ella Dixon Hood. Kirsten Dolphin. Baby Adele's Fowler. Phoebe Gale. Somerset Gear. Satchel Jaron Haycraft. Eloise Hoey. Daisy Mojave Holland. Kimberly Jones. Connor Ledsham. Jenny Leah Leung. Alexandra Manasturska. <laughs> Sean May Shannon Manning. <laughs> Casey Rian Marshall. <laughs> Bjorn Ferran Martin Retberg. Chelsea Masterson Brown. Alberto Domenico Mastroni. Reese Edwin McDowell. Charlotte Moore. Rory McCulloch O'Neill. <laughs> Yun Jin Oh. <laughs> Ho. 
Jesse Purse. Rebecca Francis Rain. Catherine Rice. Matthew James Rooney. Michelle Shaw. Holly Leanne Smith. Rachel Francis Smith. <laughs> Natasha Alina Squires. <laughs> Rebecca Tate. <laughs> Yasmin Amiria Thayifa. <laughs> Hannah Claire Thorpe. Eileen Marie Marguerite Vandenbroek. <laughs> Chelsea Waits. <laughs> Nicole Nadine Wilson. <laughs> Victoria Woollett. Jessica Lee Wynn. <laughs> Liu Yi Yang. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in Interior Design, Katie Araminta Mary Bates. <laughs> Liam Bins. Awarded the Pamela Ryland Prize, Caitlin Taylor Brack. <laughs> Tira Brown. <laughs> Noreen May Callalang. <laughs> Thananya Chong Peng. <laughs> Chao Peng. Angela Nikki Cook. Ashwara Anant Damale. Ella Louise Dominski. Leonie Hazelwood. Grace Hudson. <laughs> Naomi Holland. <laughs> Ruby Tiger Hooper. <laughs> Gareth Hughes. <laughs> Gracia Irina. Rida E. Zanab Khan. <laughs> James Late. <laughs> Danielle Francis Lancaster. <laughs> Wan Ai Leong. Georgina Lever. <laughs> Hannah Lucas. <laughs> Annie Louise Mason. <laughs> Bevin Mary McDonnell. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher McNeilis. <laughs> Ali
Laura Emily Milton. Rebecca Ann Orr. Plamina Parnova. Tabasam Patel. Dylan Ravenscroft. Bethan Charlotte Roberts. Molly Smith. Hannah Stevenson. Tony Stridham. Isabel Edith Teasdale. Anika Webb. Megan Chloe Whittle. Bachelor of Arts in Textiles in Practice, awarded the Future Skills Award, Jordan Allen Alberts. <laughs> Chloe May Allen. <laughs> Tanita Angeo. <laughs> Neve Francis Baker. Awarded the Aon Community Art Award, India Georgia Bar. <laughs> Awarded the Edinburgh Weavers Innovation Prize, GK Gallery Exhibition Award, Olivia Barnett. <laughs> Barrett. <laughs> Alexandra Barton. Amber Bailey. <laughs> Awarded the Richard Hudson Prize for the Best Performing Digital Student, Gemma Ann Betterton. <laughs> Lauren Bolland. Awarded the Aon Community Art Award, the Belly Button Design Prize, Fiona B.T. Burton. <laughs> Awarded the Context Weavers Award, Megan Francesca Burton. <laughs> Leah Butterworth. Georgia Carr. <laughs> Millie Rose Chadwick. <laughs> Danielle Marie Cooper. <laughs> Charlotte Cotton. Nicola Lauren Dean. <laughs> Awarded the Context Weavers Prize, Megan Ditchfield. <laughs> Taylor Dowling. <laughs> Hannah Lauren Dunning. Kauza Farhan. <laughs> Jody Louise Furness. <laughs> Awarded the Edinburgh Weavers Innovation Prize, Natalie Louise Goodall. <laughs> Amelia Jane Cassidy Good.
Leonisa Zumba Grace Nusaku. Catherine Griffiths. Awarded the Contrado Digital Printing Award, Megan Hall. Georgia Sarah Hardman. Amy Harris. Awarded the RNIB Northwest Exhibition Award, Lucy Hilton. Awarded the Alumni Prize for Fashion, Charlotte Marianne Housen. <laughs> Jessica Hunt. <laughs> Molly Caitlin James. <laughs> Megan Kavner. Awarded the Dorothy Benson Embroidery Prize, Lucy Jane Kent. Christine Coe. Samantha Raquel Lopez de Souza. Bethany Mazurik. Lauren Jane McDonnell. <laughs> Awarded the Maureen Wayman Prize, Rebecca Mitchell. <laughs> Eleanor Moores. <laughs> Deanna Marie Needham. Awarded the Edinburgh Weavers Innovation Prize, Lily Jane Parker. <laughs> Sophie Place. <laughs> Awarded the Context Weavers Prize, Warren Riley. Awarded the RNIB Northwest Exhibition Award, Mimosa Ricketts. <laughs> Victoria Sean Rushton. <laughs> Awarded the Context Weavers Prize, Hannah Wedgwood Sheldon. <laughs> Maisie Short. Awarded the Aon Community Art Award, Amanda Shropshire. <laughs> Ella Slade. <laughs> Jessica Amy Smith. <laughs> Katie Louise Taggart. Awarded the Diono Design Studio Manchester Award, Jack Thomas. <laughs> Awarded the Fairfield Yarns Award, Felicity Jane Eve Walkup. <laughs> Emily Welch. Awarded the Belly Button Student Prize, Emily Williams. Georgia Woodall. Bachelor of Arts in Three Dimensional Design, Iram Amir. Alan Adams. Rosalind Ashcroft. <laughs> Joseph Bubia.
Matilda Cooper. <laughs> Megan Cowley. <laughs> Ryan Daniel Dilks. <laughs> Christine Emily Diola. Marce de Rabiola. James Hall. Katie Herman. Alina Jones. Wang Si Ku. Alice McKenzie. Rachel Radford. Poppy Ridgeway. Abby Rig Milner. Joshua Headley Scott. Grace Eden Sharp. Alice Souter. Catherine Eleanor Spencer Jones. Jake Stevenson Grimberg. Lillian Chu Weaver. <laughs> Melissa Trippy. <laughs> Sophie Vincent. <laughs> Master of Arts in Visual Culture, Benjamin Green. Master of Landscape Architecture, Laura Liliana Giovanna Galasso. <laughs> Rebecca Hurd. <laughs> Sean Jessica Rossiter. <laughs> Hilary Thumpston. Ben Wales. <laughs> Yang Yang. <laughs> Master of Landscape Architecture, Sabah Ayab. <laughs> Owen Byram. Rosemary Ann Pierce. Jack Vicarage. Master of Landscape Architecture, Landscape Architecture Part 2, George Bickford Smith. John Samuel Hamilton. Tugche Korak. <laughs> Leo Che Wing Lam. <laughs> Homing Kenny Yang. <laughs> Julia Tor. Why Quan Say? <laughs> Master of Arts by Research, Georgina Chapel.
Doctor of Philosophy for the thesis, One Among Your Moments, Thy Miriamic Mir Potential of Drawing Translation, Sally Morphill. Faculty of Business and Law, Postgraduate Diploma in Human Resource Ma Management, Zach Berek. <laughs> Pro Vice Chancellor, that concludes the awards for the Faculty of Arts and Humanities. Thank you, Joe. The very first thing I'd like to do is to warmly congratulate all our graduates today. You leave this ceremony with a degree from Manchester Metropolitan University, and this is a great achievement. And for that, I think you all deserve another round of applause. Well done. <laughs> Now this really is a wonderful occasion and a significant milestone, not just in the lives of all the graduates here, but in the lives of your family and friends who have joined us in this ceremony or who are perhaps watching online. It's the completion of a great educational journey. It's a time for celebration, for pride, and it's a time for joy. And as Pro Vice Chancellor, this ceremony is one of the highlights of my own year, and I feel hugely proud and privileged to be part of your day. Today is all about celebration, but it's bound to involve a range of emotions for those of you who are graduating. And as I've shaken your hands and admitted you to your degrees and seen your faces, I've sensed feelings of pride and excitement, a little relief, I think, for some, but also delight, and above all, hope and anticipation for the future. I wanted to say a few words about our university and why our graduates matter so much. Our origins go back to 1824, and for nearly 200 years, we've played an essential role in the history of Manchester and this region. Our university delivers world-class teaching, informed by the latest research, delivered by practitioners who are leading in their fields, and shaped by our place, Manchester. The impact of what we do literally transforms lives and improves society. And it is people who are at the heart of the success of this university. So at this point, I would like you to join me in thanking my colleagues for everything that they have done to support you throughout your studies. Without them, I believe that simply you would not be here today. So colleagues, thank you very much. progress confidently to the next stage of your lives as graduates, you're going to become ambassadors for us, for our university, and you're going to become role models for future students. You're going to inspire them as we were inspired by those who came before us. You will join the ranks of more than 300,000 alumni of this university across the road, across the road, across the world, <laughs> and the road. Wherever your careers take you, you will find friends and you will find allies, people who are looking out for you as part of the worldwide Manchester metropolitan community. Your degrees will be respected and they'll be valued. They symbolise your capability, strengthen your self-belief and remind you that you can achieve anything that you set your mind to doing. You stand, therefore, at the threshold of an exciting future. As a graduate of this university, you're ready for anything. 
You enter the next stage of your lives equipped not just with knowledge, and that's important, but with a very broad range of skills, and not just working skills and academic skills, but also attributes of your character and your personality that are going to set you apart. In these times of change, you're going to be confronted, perhaps more than our generation on this stage, with unexpected, unpredictable and complex challenges, some of which will look very good and very exciting. Others will look rather frightening and somewhat daunting. You will need to be resilient and resourceful and strong, holding true to the values of inclusivity, of tolerance and of respect that are absolutely fundamental to any decent society, fundamental to our way of life, and ready to utilise the full complement of skills that you have developed here to play your part and to make your mark. I believe that your time at this university has prepared you well to demonstrate those values, to seize opportunities and to make your contribution. You are prepared for the adventure that lies ahead of you. Some of you might be planning to continue your studies, but most of you intend to join the workplace. If you don't already have one, you'll want a job, and one that draws on the knowledge and skills that you have acquired here. And that is what we want for you too, a fulfilling next step. We are here to continue to support you and your career through, for example, Talent Match, which matches graduate job seekers to vacancies with employers. You'll also have access to our newly dedicated early career graduate team in the Careers Service to provide support and guidance every step of the way. So I urge you to make really good use of these resources and remember that you can call on us for help. You leave us as capable individuals as people who are curious and inquiring, open to ways that we can do things differently and better in our country, in our society and in our economy to give people better lives, a better quality of life in the future. You have the power to realise your dreams. You have the ability to shape society and you have the potential to change the world for the good of all. Whether you remain in Manchester or the north of England or head further afield in the country and around the world, your energy and flair will ensure that you play a crucial world, a crucial role in creating a bright and prosperous future for us here and for others in countries around the world. Thinking about this ceremony today prompted me to reflect on my own graduation. I remember feeling inspired and determined to do my very best, to have the courage to think freely and creatively and to believe in myself, not in an arrogant way, but in a way that makes you feel strong enough to work with others to create a better society and a better world. And now, with the benefit of some hindsight, I would offer three pieces of advice. The first is that whilst a university education marks the end of one phase of learning, it's actually the springboard into the next. I would encourage you all to invest in your professional and personal development. Always challenge yourself to be the best that you can be. Never make the mistake, in other words, of thinking that your learning journey is complete or finished, because it never is. And the second is about working with others. Most great achievements are the results of working collaboratively. We don't work in silos, we work in networks. We don't work as individuals, separated human beings. We work as part of complex ecosystems of different people, different professions, woven together to make a whole. And this requires placing your trust in others. Don't be afraid to do that. Seek out opportunities to build trust and to break down barriers. By working together, so much more can be achieved. And my third reflection is about timing and I've learned that it's crucial to get the timing right. Sometimes it's better not to react or respond immediately, but to pause, to reflect, to just think that little bit extra or longer about what somebody means or what some action represents and how you should deal with it. Good judgment and the ability to be reflective are hugely valuable assets. Develop them in yourself, recognize them in others, and nurture them wherever you find them. I want to say something else to you, which is very important. Whilst today is your day and your success, let's remember that it is a product of one of those great partnerships that I've just been speaking about. In celebrating your achievements, I know that your family and friends who are gathered above you in the galleries will have been there for you during the course of your studies. Gaining a degree represents a huge commitment to learning. 
It entails a significant investment of time, hard work and money. And your supporters are vital members of your team and they deserve recognition for their steadfast support. Together, we owe them a great debt of gratitude. So I would ask you please to stand up, to turn around and to join me in thanking them for their support and wise counsel. As this ceremony draws to the end, I would like to congratulate our graduates again. On behalf of all my colleagues, I wish you happiness and fulfilment as you embark on your next adventure. We will be following your progress and look forward to hearing about your future successes, of which I am sure there will be many. Be proud of your achievements, be confident about the future, and above all, be absolutely passionate about everything that you do. Thank you. I declare this ceremony closed. May I ask the congregation to please now stand and remain standing until the procession has left the auditorium. Thank you.